Hello and good day. Welcome to lesson five of Fundamentals of Freedom, Processing Knowledge. I'm, uh, I'm your humble sensei in freedom, Robert Arthur of the Menard family. Welcome and thank you. Uh, before I start this lesson, I'd like to I'd like to give a big thank you to all, everyone who's made donations and sent me emails and have paid it forward. Uh, it's very humbling and uh, it makes me feel very hopeful also that uh, these lessons are doing good and are being appreciated, although I do seem to have a couple of detractors, a couple of whom I'm going to be using in my lesson today. Now, this whole free man thing, the free man on the land movement, you're going to be involved, you're going to be facing situations where you are going to have to process information or knowledge and you're going to have to increase your level of knowledge. And this means you are facing, you could face two fundamental uh, problems, dangers. And I'll be introducing you to uh, some people who have, have found those dangers. The problem with this whole situation is you have to increase your level of information and you have to increase your ability to process it. Otherwise, you lose balance. And when you start losing that balance, one of two things are going to happen. If along your journey, let's say this will represent information, and this represents your ability to process it. If your information gets too high and it outstrips your ability to process, you end up being imbalanced. And the world, if you're a ball on that, the world will end up seeming uh, quite mystical to you. It'll seem like a magical place where aliens and demons and uh, magical creatures are going to seem like a possibility because you will have information, but you won't have the ability to process it. And therefore, that information simply won't be properly processed. People who follow this route... Uh, they end up being highly religious. They end up being like super freaks, super religious freaks. Their ability to process information has not kept up with the information that has come to them. Now bear in mind, I am not making fun of those who are divine. I remember uh, one of the quotes, I believe, of Emily Dickinson. It goes like this. Much madness is divineness sense to a discerning eye. What I believe when people get unbalanced in this nature, maybe there are spirits who do talk to them, who do give them information, but if they also don't give them the power to process the information given, they end up seeming like crazy folk. Now the other problem, if you go the other way, if you have your information level here, processability here and your information stays low but your ability to process it goes up high again you end up with a great big bad imbalance and these people because they are denied information but they have the ability to process information and they know the information is out there they end up being conspiracy theorists And if you suffer from a pos position where you lack information but ability to process it and you know you are being denied information, you will end up being uh, thinking the whole world is a giant conspiracy. The trick, of course, is to increase both and do it so that you don't lose balance. So that you do increase your ability to, uh, you increase your knowledge as you increase your ability to process that knowledge. If you fail to do this, you're going to end up falling into the conspiracy trap or the holy roller trap. But either way, you're not going to find the peace and abundance and balance that, or, that you really want. And I think the balance is where the peace and abundance comes from. 
the whole free man movement, it's not about the world being a conspiracy. We know there's, there's greedy people out there who want stuff they shouldn't have. We know they, they use deception. But that doesn't mean the whole world there's a conspiracy and there's aliens. We know and believe that there's some form of higher place, that, that there is a spiritual connection between us. But that doesn't mean that people who don't read the same Bible as you are evil. I'll introduce you to a guy, I'm sure he wouldn't mind, uh, who falls into this category where his information far outstrips his ability to process it or share it. And he thinks I'm an evil snake who, and it's his job to stop me. Because they haven't got a valid oath. None of the judges have valid oaths. None of the lawyers for the Department of Justice have valid oaths. None of the lawyers that have written legislation since 1955 have valid oaths. So you can see how uncomfortable it is to expose this national fraud that is, of course, against Her Majesty's ability to perform the functions of her calling, because that's the whole intent of this, is to keep Her Majesty so she's in, not in a liable position. Here she is styled as defender of the Christian faith, and we have evidence of the grandest bait-and-switch plan of fraud ever to take place, where they utilize the Bible and the Queen to get their authority, and then they say they're honorable, and then they begin to add to God's law, take away from God's law, and intimidate men and women that wish to come out of the fraud and not wish to participate in the fraud. The Minister of Justice, I'm sure, is aware of this. She has been made aware. I have contacted her, and I'm hoping that she will pay heed to this message as well as the other ones that I've sent her. Alison Redford, if you happen to listen to this, I hope you're aware that you're supporting a whole league of lawyers that are acting in fraud with criminal intent to commit perjury and treason. Oh, what now, his basic premise boils down to this. The oaths that the judges and lawyers make are of the form, I swear to, and then there's their oath, instead of I do swear, which is what he believes it should contain. Is he right that because that word is not there, that it's a false oath? Now, he's got the, the knowledge, the information that the word do is not there. Fair enough, I'll grant that. Whether or not it's important, is up, uh, that's debatable at least. Now, here's where the imbalance uh, causes these personality faults and, and the, the problem that you're about to see. Another lawyer, uh, James Odishaw, uh, and bringing in a fraud before the court. Now, this judge has been made aware of the fraud. She got a letter that Mr. Odishaw never replied to. She even uh, uh, reprimanded Mr. Odishaw for not replying to the letter. Well, the reason Mr. Odishaw did not reply to the letter is because he would he had no way to disprove any of the points. The points in there is he's got a false oath and he's running a fraud. And yet after seeing this, this woman acting as a judge, and I'm speaking as a private woman here, I would never intimidate a judge. No, he would never intimidate a judge. But he later goes on to acknowledge her as a private woman and imply that he was willing to intimidate her. This, this is what I don't like. I don't like people who use the, the teachings of the Prince of Peace in order to generate and justify such conflict. You want to know how I looked at the whole false oath? Because Robin Belanger, he came at me and he was like, look at this, you have to look at this. So I looked at it. I didn't really see the importance. Uh, I did a bit of investigation into it. I spoke to some people. And the conclusion I came to was that it was still a valid oath if the person had the intent to make the valid oath. Even if you put the word do in there, it still wouldn't be valid if they didn't want it to be. And from the perspective of the English language alone, saying I swear turns the word swear into the verb instead of using the do swear, I do swear, which would merely be a, used, I believe, as an adverb if uh, the English professor I spoke to, if I'm recalling correctly. So it's still, you still have the action word there. He didn't like the fact that I didn't run with this. Now, I don't claim to know everything. Certainly removing one word in that fashion is the kind of thing that deceivers do, so I don't discount it. But I didn't run with it. So because I didn't embrace it as fully and 